Have you ever looked at a tough math problem and asked yourself, when am I ever going to use this? Well, I have good news for you. You can use it on the ACT. Okay, let's talk about the slope-intercept formula. The equation we'll use is y equals mx plus b, where y is the y-coordinate, m is the slope, x is the x-coordinate, and b is the y-intercept. But what fun is knowing all of this if we can't apply it to a problem? Let's look at an example. Which of the following is the graph of the equation 4x plus 2y equals 6 in the standard xy coordinate plane? The answer choices show graphs of our equation. To find the slope and y-intercept, we first need to convert the equation into the y equals mx plus b format, which means we need to do a little algebra. First, we subtract 4x from each side. Then, we divide each side by 2 to get y equals negative 2x plus 3. Remember that the slope, m, is the coefficient of x, or what x is multiplied by. In this case, the slope is negative 2, and the y-intercept is 3, the number that's alone. Let's go back to our answer choices. The y-intercept of a line is easy to identify on a graph, so let's eliminate the answer choices that don't have a y-intercept of 3. Since the slope is negative 2, we can eliminate any choice where the line moves upward. So, we can eliminate A. We're left with C, which is our answer. Circle it. y equals mx plus b is a very useful formula, but there's one rule about lines that we should cover. Try this on for size. Every point on a line must work in the equation of a line, even if the equation isn't in y-intercept form. What does that even mean? Let's look at a problem and get to the bottom of this. Which of the following points does not lie on the line determined by the equation x plus 3y equals negative 12? The answer choices show coordinates. Let's first circle does not lie so we don't mistakenly look for points that do lie on the line. Since every point on a line must work in the equation x plus 3y equals negative 12, let's look at each of the answer choices to see which one will not work in the equation. Let's start with choice A, 0, negative 4. Plugging 0 in for x and negative 4 in for y, we get negative 12 equals negative 12. That's a point on the line, but we're looking for a point that is not on the line, so we can eliminate answer choice A. Now let's look at B. Plug 2 into the equation for x and plug negative 3 in for y. 2 minus 9, or negative 7, doesn't equal negative 12. Since we're looking for the point that does not lie on the line, B is the correct answer. It's not necessary to look at the other answer choices, but if you'd like to check, you can plug them all into the equation and you'll see they're all on the line. So answer choice B it is. Nice work. So there you have it. By applying the slope-intercept formula, you can find the slope and y-intercept of a line and you can identify a line based on that knowledge. See, I told you this formula would come in handy.